And uh, I mean, I was coming up and I stopped working when I was eight, uh, cooking for my grandmother and working in tobacco fields. Uh, then I moved to D.C. and I lived there for 38 years. Then I moved back down to Richmond. And uh, now I'm homeless. And uh, Hey guys, I'm here with E. How you doing? How you doing? So E, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, childhood? Yeah, man, I was born and raised in Southfield, Virginia. I went to Parkview Senior High School. I graduated and uh, I mean, I was coming up and I stopped working when I was eight, uh, cooking for my grandmother and working in tobacco fields. Uh, then I moved to D.C. and I lived there for 38 years. Then I moved back down to Richmond. And uh, now I'm homeless. And uh, you know, I'm all, uh, I lost my wife. So I'm down here homeless now. And I'm trying to get my life straight again to get back on track. And uh, it's been hard out here. So exactly like E, how did you um, wind up on the streets? What exactly I, happened? I wind up on the street by losing my wife for one thing and then I lost my job because I didn't have no ID and I lost my ID and therefore I'm working to try to get a new ID so I can get another job and get all these streets because this ain't me. Yeah. So like what was your childhood like? What, what was growing up for you like? I mean growing up for me was, was good. I mean you know my grandma raised me when I was a little boy you know and I, I grew up with her and she um, she raised me she raised me to um, be a better man than I am today. I know that. And I know she turned over her grave right now to see me out here like this. So I talk to God every day and trying to straighten my life and up and everything. So, that, I mean, my childhood was great. You know, I didn't have no difficulty. I grew up around a bunch of women. And uh, therefore, uh, I'm hanging in there. Yeah, like what's some of the difficulties you be facing being out here on the street? I face difficulty with being in a uh, homeless, being in the rain, being in the in the uh, snow, ice. You know, right now, you know, I make a little money, but it's not enough to do what I want to do. You know, so I'm homeless. I mean, people give me a little stuff, but other than, I mean, it's difficult out here, man. It's it's very difficult. Out here. Do you have any children? I got two boys. Like what's their their age? Uh one of them thirty and one of them twenty-eight. How are they doing? Uh I haven't talked to a man in years, so I don't know how they doing. One of them is in the army, all in California, I do know that. But the other one I don't know. If they see this video and they see that you on the street, do you do you think they'll reach out to you? I think they will. That'll be that'll be awesome, man. Cause a lot of people, you know, I think they will. watch. You know, they'll come. Yeah, yeah. They'll come here and see if they can maybe help remedy the situation. So, like E, so far, like with that, with that said, like, what do you, what do you do, like for like food and stuff like that? Food, um, uh, I, I, uh, uh, panhandle for food. People give me food. They give me a few dollars so I can eat. You know, that's how I get food out here. You know, other than that, uh, like I said, I plan how people give me food or whatever, or give me gift cards so I can get food with. Yeah. You know. So, like, moving forward, do you have any goals for the future? I have goals for the future. To get off these streets, to get off these streets and better my life like I was before. I want to, I don't want to be homeless. I'm tired of being out here like this. And I need to be, I was going to better my life to get a new job and have my own place and my own stuff <coughs> like I had before. Alright, one one last question for you, E. What advice would you give somebody? My advice to me, if you got a job or you own drugs, get off of drugs. I mean, and better and, and, and get, get a job and keep it and Make sure that you take care of your family and stuff and everything. All right. Well, thank you for your time.